One, two, three. I guess I'm four. Hello there, everybody. My name is Gamestar, and welcome back to more Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening. In the last episode, we went through the mysterious forest, got some magic powder, and got the tail key, which led us to here, the first dungeon of the game. Wait, tail cave. So if I remember correctly, I don't even think this dungeon's that long, so it might cover the episode, it might not. But what I do know is that I don't know what every item is in each dungeon besides like the last one and maybe the second one. And here we got a small key. It can be used to open a locked door within the dungeon, pretty self-explanatory, it's the standard of every Zelda. These skeleton dudes jump at you, or jump away from you rather, so what you want to do is just get them into a corner by themselves, that way uh, you can catch them before they go away. By, oop, not doing that. By pausing, you can go to the map screen, which shows you the map of the current dungeon you're in, and I believe it also, excuse me. It also shows the um, world map if you're on the world map, and I'll be able to test that out later. This looks like, okay, you can pin stuff. Oh, I guess you can remember stuff from before. Oh, that's nice. Also, it shows you secret shells, where they've been, as well as the heart pieces you've collected. That's going to be really good for me, so that I know which ones I've gotten and which ones I haven't if I look up a guide. Um, and yeah, if you're following along, you can pinpoint your own to make sure you get all the ones that you have as well. In here, I think there's another... No, actually, it's the map dungeon. So that fills in basically just like a little plot of what the dungeon looks like. It looks like a tiny little snail. That's cute. This right here. Okay, that is one way, whoopsies. I remember this song from the original game. It was not that impressive to me. And here, I'm feeling the exact same. You can also have the skeleton dudes fall down the hole, so if you're into that, and you can't block those. Okay, what is that here? Oh, that is definitely not how you're supposed to do that. Great. Okay, well, I got them off cue. Three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Whoop. There we go. If you get all of them as the same symbol, pretty self explanatory, you kill them. And I got my favorite symbol, the diamond, yes, sir. The beak of the statue is saying something, but you can't make it out. Which is why we need the stone beak. Once you get the stone beak, these stone owl statues uh, will give you hints about the dungeon. And there are multiple around, you just need to have the beak in order to get it. Turn aside the spin, spined ones with a shield. So I'm guessing... Oop, not that, not that, not that. Oh, I remember what, what thing we get here. I think I remember what we get here. And if so, I don't remember getting it this early. Have some Moldorns. And a random chest with a key in it for no reason. I don't know why we don't need to kill everything for this thing. Slowly but surely, my memory will come back to me. And maybe I'll stop playing as bad as I am. I'm probably taking so much damage that, like, people are like, Oh my god, like, focus on the game, but I'll do what I please. Ooh, red rupee. Joy! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that sounds forceful, honestly. Just joy in all capital letters. Let's take sure. Are these? Okay, these are the cracked grounds that we saw before. That's the opening area. I guess we... Why don't we head down to the bottom? There's probably something we can do down there. It's better to explore everything... I'd say top to bottom, rather than just going where you feel like you want to go. That way, you have an idea of what you've already done, and you don't let yourself get lost. Another key, okay. 
usually if there's like a point like this in a room, it's either like kill all the enemies or solve a puzzle because there's no reason why it shouldn't be there besides that. Oh, hello. What are these? Ow! Oh my god, stop. Oh my god, honey, stop. The compass! Now you can see where chest the and the and nightmare are hidden. This compass has a new feature, a tone that'll tell you if a key is nearby. nearby. So nightmare, I'm pretty sure, indicates where the boss is, so the boss key the boss door is over here. So this is likely a hidden area and got some keys. Also, I did not point out before, but that little door that Link fit into and then turned around, that's a one-way door. So um Yeah, you can't go back the way you came. Pretty self-explanatory. I will say, if this theme isn't good, I really don't care for this theme. It's definitely atmospheric in this game. Also, these little stupid blade things. I remember you, and you move much slower in this game compared to the remake. I mean, compared to the original. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, don't touch me, don't touch me. I really thought that you could lock these dudes with electricity. Ow. With electricity, um, with your shield, bleh. Anyways, if there's a door that you can't open, move a square block. So you mean like this? Pretty easy tutorial. And this is actually the tip that the uh, we were given before. These spiny dudes, you want to hit them with your shield and then uh, hit them over the top. Or you can knock them in the hole. Which is um, another instance of using defense. Thank you for telling us that in the same room when we could have had the tip earlier. This right here is a 2D section, which is why now I remember what item we get from this area. Killing these Goombas with a sword gets you nothing, but killing them with a heart, uh, killing them by jumping, as I'm about to show you right out, right here, gets you a heart. Which is a cool tip and nod to uh, Mario in the right key. Like, we'll see more of like references to other Mario games. I mean, we saw the Chain Chomp, Goomba, and other stuff, and we'll see more later down the road. But it was so weird but fitting about this game to have like other enemies from other games in here. I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. But this right here is the dungeon item, the rock's feather. Your feel you you feels like your body's a lot lighter. We go to our pause menu, equip that with Y, we can jump. Grabbing this winged item above us, um instead of just missing it. And we can jump to these 2D sections. And that feels really weird, oh my gosh. Uh, you can also attack in the air, it looks like, and I'm actually going to show one more thing in 2D sections. If you jump and hold- oh, you can just point down. What is it? What is- you can do something, right? I could have sworn you could have done a downward thrust, but maybe you can. About to be Smash Bros up in here, oh my god. Maybe we'll be able to do that later, but I specifically remember being able to do that. Now where do I go? Hold on. There's an item to our left, and it looks like we're just heading right now. Okay. Also, it helps that we can avoid these uh, spiked uh, traps instead of having to deal with them running. That might be a secret for later. Ow. Stupid Moldorms. Are they called Moldorms or... They might be, I don't know. Ow. I keep hitting the Y button to attack. Oh, that's gonna get annoying. This is a key block right here. Oh, thank god. Okay. That is something that they did in other game in the original compared to this game that I remember. If you walked into a um, 
into a key block, it would automatically open without giving you the option to use your key. So that's very nice instead of having to waste them. Okay, I need a heal. So if we could get like some hard smith thing, that would be helpful. Thank you. If you do need a heal spot, then the Goombas would definitely be a good spot to do that. Ow. Oh, that's unfair. I'm going to game over on this. Oh, what is this? Hello, darling. Okay. I... Is this the boss? I don't remember this boss at all. But it's a good way of incorporating the rocks better. I guess, if he's only going to do this. Wow, this boss is easy. That was the boss. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Oh no, it was the mid-boss. That is a fairy also. Um, which heals you for five hearts and a revive if you have a bottle. I don't have a bottle, so... This right here... In this dungeon, it's completely useless, but in other dungeons, it is very nice. It teleports you back to the entrance, so say if you want to go out and get something or restock on items and then go to your halfway mark through a dungeon, you can do that. Oh, lucky. So we could go to the boss right now, but I think I will check this out. It's just a healing area with a bunch of dead guys. Cool! I'm so glad that I decided to go down here. But yeah, in later dungeons we'll probably use that, uh... Ow. We'll probably use that, uh... Halfway mark thingy. Buzz, buzz, outsider. This is Moldorm! The Hamburger Lord. <coughs> Moldorm is, um, just like his little buddies, very easy. You can only attack him when his little bud's out, so when he's dashing around like this, don't even bother. And try to stay with the, from the outside because, um, you know, they're cracked and everything. And I think you can jump over him. But honestly, this is such a stupid easy boss that, like, why bother? Oh, he's changing. Like, what are you doing? You're getting yourself in the corner? Okay, sis. And the Hamburglar is dead. For our troubles, we get an entire piece of heart. Or not piece of heart, heart container. And it gets a refill. So now we have four hearts out of... I don't know how many. Okay. For our troubles. You got the full moon cello. Did we get assaulted here? Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't have said assaulted, that's such a bad- oh my god, I'm sorry. Hoot, that is an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. That instrument, along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north and Gopanga Swamp. Hoot indeed. Well, we have our next mission. And next time on Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, we will go do just that. Go to the swamp. So I'll see you guys then.